what was that? Five minutes? I guess, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see if people are back. Most people have turned off their cameras. Someone's doing yoga. Let me see. Somebody else was eating some hey, talking. We're not unmuted, are we? Yeah. <laughs> You're not muted. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it's mom. I was just kidding. <laughs> a, probably like three minutes is more. You need yeah, a we haven't three minute yet. longer break? Is that what you're saying? A little bit. Yeah. You should do like an eight minutes. So we got a couple of minutes still. I was just okay. like, back. Cool. That's fine. I'm just watching Kelly clean. Kelly Tyoli clean. Oh. Are there any emails from people trying to get in? Or did everyone get in? I didn't hear a bing. I'm kind of curious about everybody that's joined the everybody? drink and draw. I wondered if we could have a roll call. <laughs> I know, Josh. Just kidding. Are you wondering if there's anybody from out of country? Kind of. That was very interesting when we've done that in the past. Hi, Isaac. Doing your TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody from out of the country, out of the United States? I am. <laughs> You're out of Mars. I'm from Mars. I don't I hate do. the way that looks right now. Oh, I was looking at the... Why are you showing me? No, why not? Nobody from out of the United States no, this I'll, evening? It's it too says, awkward of a time on um, out of country unless you're in Canada. Uh, yeah, it's too late. Right. Of course. All right, let's get into it. All right. My chimpanzee hairs. Okay, is everybody back and ready? Nice little break. Well, see, they're from Canada. Lisa's from Canada. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, let's just continue right into this. I, I'm feeling good about where this where this is at. I agree. I mean, everyone's. Uh, I I like doing. I like at the top of the hour. I like looking at everyone's um, drawings because I while we're doing it. Hey, did I, you see that she works at a. Um chimpanzee shanks work what oh man i am jealous <laughs> she, she could have been answering all of our questions probably i love chimpanzees bridges and eyebrows and i'm so proud of you that you keep calling them apes and not monkeys <laughs> yeah, i said monkey once but i knew i didn't i know they're not i just i, I messed i just didn't I don't know why I even said that, but yes. See, you could have spoke up and stopped me from Googling. I was sure. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's, uh, let's, um, what else? What was I going to say? I guess that was, it. oh, I do like seeing everyone's drawings because I, while we're doing it, I'm, in my in my head I'm, I'm panicking that it's, that, that it's not working for anybody. And then I see all the drawings and it, it looks like everyone's doing just fine, so we're 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 on track. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into this. So let's start building on this. Uh, I still don't know what we're calling it, but we're just going to call it the no or uh, upper lip. So what I want to do is I want to give a little shadow. I, I'm not loving the way that it looks right now, so. Maybe if I darken up this area where these hairs are. But what I want to do is just do a little bit of shadow, kind of rounding it off a little bit more. What, the this uh, nose to lip area? Yeah, this part. Okay. So I want, I want to do a light, this is going to be a really light shadow. But I kind of want to round this off, not too much. But just a little bit more than what's showing there. A 
I want to bring that out a little bit more. It's hard, this the, with the black pen, I mean, it'll help once you start darkening this in a little bit more, but I feel like it's getting, it's a little lost in there. What is? Sorry. On my drawing. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's the case on yours, on anyone else's. Okay. So I'm just doing a little bit of shadow down just to the, so remember there's just this little groove here. This is his, like the actual lip. Or something about this little portion is just driving me nuts and I'm trying to fix it. Amy, where is the sanctuary at? We're in um, Northwest Louisiana. It's called Chimp Haven. Oh, wow. And are they like rescues from medical? Stuff? Yeah, they, um, the majority of them come from um, their former biomedical research chimps and uh, they're being retired to the sanctuary. We get about 40 chimps a year right now. They're still, we're in the middle of a huge campaign and we're building because we have a bunch of chimps that'll be coming in the next year too. Hey. The size of the uh, how like how much acreage? acreage. Or is it an outdoors or? It's yeah. They have indoor outdoor access. Um, we have uh, two hundred acres that we're on right now, and we're using maybe I think about a hundred of it. And we're building. We have forested habitats, so um, multi-acre habitats for them, and. Um, yeah, it's it's fabulous. And yes, I do know Kevin. Hi, Brooke. <laughs> awesome. um, yeah, so it's they've got trees to climb and and bedding and um, can do things that maybe they haven't been able to do in the past. That's a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, thank you. And you're northwest, so is that like Shreveport is north? No, north, like Shreveport? Shreveport. It's Shreveport, yeah. So you, you're far enough north that a hurricane wouldn't like really. No, here. we've had like the remnants of, um, it wasn't Katrina, it was the one after Katrina. That one kind of came through, but uh, everything is built like as far into the ground as it is like okay. up. So it's actually one of the safest places you can be during a hurricane or a bad storm. I'll just ask you one more question before, so that you can finish your talk. <laughs> about tornadoes. I'm always so freaked out about tornadoes. What would you do with that many chimps during a tornado? So the chimps are actually trained to come inside to a cowbell or um, a car horn. Like different groups have different sounds. And so we do say the cowbell, they come inside, they get all kinds of goodies, and we can lock them into their indoor areas in case of any kind of emergency. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the night, uh, the shadow into the, into the mouth. I don't know if anyone else has already done that. I feel like you, <clears throat> you've already done that, but that's gonna help too. Uh, I think what I like to do when I'm doing this is. I'll do like a, this shape. It's supposed to kind of be a tongue, but not really. It's just so I can know it's going to get a little bit lighter as it gets to the teeth. So up in this area, this all this part's all further back into his mouth. So that's all going to be much darker. And then I kind of want to show like the, this is his, his the lower gums. So I won't color that in too much, just a little bit. Yeah. So if you did, so if, I don't know if you saw, so I did these little like kind of lines right here on the lip part that just helps give a little definition to the lips, that lip there. And then I know you wanna have these nice shiny white teeth, but they're still gonna be underneath 
they're inside the mouth, so shadows should be somewhat covering there. So I'll just sort of lightly color right over that. You don't have to do that if you want to have these big shiny white teeth, but it might look a little odd because they are still down in there in the mouth. Okay, and then on this lower lip, we're just going to round it out a little bit with the, the, the shadow. So you got your shading on the lower portion of it. Um, if you can do your shading lines in that, like in a curve shape, the same curve as the... Can you show us on the big one? Quick, yeah, just like a quickly. cylinder, like what I talked about, like the cylinder kind of shading. So you're gonna do, your lines are gonna be, what's this word I'm looking for for these bigger? Like the shape? Curve. Curve. <laughs> but then as they come to the center, they start to straighten out. And then as they get around to this side, the curve shading goes in that direction. And then maybe just a little line on the top part, a little shadow. So it's kind of doing something like that. So that's what we kind of want to do with this bottom lip there. Well, I feel like that froze a minute because I was. I, okay, on this on this lower hairs on the sorry on this like the chin area, this is mostly all hair, but it is still a chin, so I want to shade it like a. So the lip itself is like casting this shadow, his lower lip is casting a shadow here. I haven't worked at all over here on the right side of the space. So I'm gonna do some shadows on his bags and wrinkles over on this side. Yeah, I love drawing chimpanzees. I, I, there's so much texture and I just, I don't know, they're just awesome. But there's so much texture in here that really like when you're doing it, you know, when you're spending a lot of time on it, you can do all kinds of amazing stuff in there. And then over here, like on these hairs, I think if you want to start darkening this, like some of the hairs out a little bit. So this is how I'm going to do it. So this is going to, these hairs are going behind this brow, this the edge of this brow so they're gonna kind of shadow so this is like a shadow that I'm doing here in these hairs these are gonna be much darker around this area that side's darker sorry I'm well just, just right around that. right around to where his cheekbone is so like so like this uh brow here these hairs are going behind the brow think of like this hair if this was like 
casting the giant shadow. That hair, all of those are casting this shadow that's tucked behind his. All right, you can see where they're going. Yeah, so that's where I'm mostly dark right there. And then I want a little more shadow down here on this little part of his cheekbone there. <clears throat> Same with like so over here. It's going to be a little bit darker right here. I don't want to mess this part up, but do we already have the theme for the next one? I can't remember. Yeah, the uh, grasshoppers. Oh right. A grasshopper. So now, if you're like, if you're this far ahead, now just make take some of these hairs and really like make them kind of get going all over the place, maybe, but still in the direction that the hairs, you know, that their hairs are going. But let a few of them kind of get in the way. Well, let's shade this ear real quick. So this ear, it drops. I mean, that's really a big shadow that's gonna kind of drop really dark. Into the ear canal? Yeah. So let me just draw this out here. We're a little um, pixelated over here, so that's why I'm asking. Oh, okay, but. So this whole section, it's and it's tucked kind of back here, so. The majority of this is going to be dark and then what do you call it? I don't even know anything uh -huh. about ears, but this little ridge here catches a little bit of light because it's sticking up. But then it also, that little ridge drops a little bit of shadow. And then the rest of that is basically like the, into the canal. So it's pretty dark in there. And if you don't like any of it, you can hide it with your hairs. <laughs> Bring these hairs out behind his head, his ear. You are going a little fast today, I think. Which isn't bad, but. Well, we're gonna get to that candle or whatever. I guess there were. I mean, no, we're it's not bad. Stuff, so. It's not bad. But I am like, whoa, wait, what? Well, mostly like from here on out, it's kind of working out these hair, your all your hairs. Hi. What you doing? Yeah, well, I think that looks like a chimpanzee. I think those ones that I was thinking of were called like maybe macaques. 
that's what mine looks like. Mine is not chimp, but. It's got the heart of a chimp, babe. But it's trying. <laughs> If you have white, like a white, if you work, well, I think not many people are working with the whites, but you could put, they're almost like cat whiskers, but they're, I mean, they're hair, you know, they'd be like hairs on a, like eyebrow hairs almost. Are they stick right out? Hmm? Kind of, yeah. <clears throat> that might be, you know, the grandpa. that's something you don't really have to do, but. Okay, let's get up to this candle. I feel like everybody's pretty much got something like that. I like to, uh, I like to just get in the eyes, these eyeballs. I don't like them to just be white like that. So I'm going to just fill mine in a little bit. Almost like a light shade. Because I really mostly just want that highlight to be what's lit or what's white. It also just really makes it. Sorry, uh, that other ear over there. Oh, well, yeah. Here, there's other ear. This is just the top part of the ear here. So you can pretty much just do that. I wish we weren't um, pixelated, yeah. So here's this ear like that. So basically that's kind of what we're seeing is like that. Girls, the uh, bullet bike crew. Pretty much just like that. Yeah, is that helpful? Yes, thank you. I have a feeling I'm going to end up putting something right there and something right there in the third hour. Huh? What? Someone dropped out. Add it. No, I'm trying to get back in. Oh. Well, my head shape got a little wonky there, but that's okay. Yeah, mine too. I think that's why it looks like a monkey on mine. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna do this like a um, decorative thing on my candle here. Like, what do you what do you call these? Maybe like bead, not beads, but I guess it would be. Um, you know not actual beads but they would be beads of milk glass or whatever it is bugging me about that i'm gonna have to get into that i think you need to have some shadow around this portion if you don't Sorry, I know I was going to the candles, but that something right here was driving me nuts and I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> but yeah, everyone can do that. If you feel like you like where your picture is, you can get in there and try to, if, you, if there's anything you don't like, move your hairs around a bit and, and try to get it to something that you do like. But I saw your guys' drawings, they look good to me, so. Okay, 
Let's get up here to this candle. I feel like I was running out of space, so I'm going to cut my candle top off here. It's basically just a real simple candlestick. So I, I, I still just draw my candles like how I drew them in the junior high or in elementary school. I just do like the real simple, like it's kind of got a curve, like this one edge is broad like that with a drip. And then this one comes way up here like this. I don't know. It's very like uh, Dickens. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that Victorian looking, like the uh, old. No, Emily, uh, the Charles. Christmas story. Oh yeah, Charles, Charles Dickens. Dickens. I don't know. It's really exaggerated, melting. And then I think I'm gonna let it melt down the candle stick. What's that? So um, I don't know if anyone needs uh, actual like, but this is basically how I do my candles. I would say the like the most elementary version <laughs> ever, but I don't spend a lot of time drawing candles. I do like them a lot though. Well that's pretty much what I'm doing. Looks like a candle right with a deer head. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do go draw out the arms and everything because I knew that we weren't going to have enough time to do those in the two hour time frame. But I think I am going to get into those in the third hour if you want to stick around for that. Well, let's shade this candlestick out. I didn't get a ton of direction with this candlestick because I noticed that people kind of had their own candlestick versions. But if you ended up doing yours like mine, then just the simple shading where it's. Did you do a candle in yours, Adrian? I didn't have enough room. So I was trying to round out its head. Well, yeah, this is a good opportunity to try to fix anything that's bothering you. If you didn't do a candle, or if you put a goat up there. <laughs> I'm going to put a little question mark here on this candlestick. Did you see that YouTube video? Actually, it was um, on Instagram. I saw in someone's story of the chimp who got, it was on a t using a touch screen and it <clears throat> had different squares with numbers in it and it showed it to it for like a half a second and it memorized the order of the numbers. They were all mixed up and it touched them. It memorized them in that half second cool. and it was able to figure out where they all were. It was really cool.
We'll put another row of bead circle thingies there. And then can we do some shadows that are falling onto these wax melt melting wax. Oh, it got real quiet. Sorry, I was still focusing on <clears throat> getting this figured out here. I feel like this is the time when you know, like you're getting yourself caught up on some areas. Well, yeah, that got a little screwy. <laughs> what did? The candle? Oh, my candle, no, yeah. I like your candle. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't do like a, oh, I don't know. Doesn't it have like a? No. Oh, some do if you're walking around the house with it. Is yeah, it a, a handle or something? Yeah, but not that kind. No, not one that's really sitting on a head, huh? No, they usually have a little tray around them to catch the wax. Okay. I think maybe that that candlestick, oh, I don't want to mess with that anymore. I'm going to put just some hairs kind of, kind of embedded in there. Not embedded, it's growing from his head. <laughs> he has an idea. Maybe his idea is that he's going to balance a candlestick on his head. No? Let's see what. 837. Is there anything uh, else on this that you'd like to me to go over and on any of your drawings while we're here? We got we have we have a half hour still um, of the first two hours. Or if someone needs help. Or does someone need help kind of figuring out any sort of part of their drawing? Um, I can try to get get you get you there. Go ahead and let me know. Um, well, that's a first that I ever under the nose. Yeah, let's at the right ear. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can. You mean right under the nostril part? You can unmute yourself, Jen. I just did because Kelly's struggling with the right ear. The left, yeah. The okay. Left. If you get a minute, even you want to yeah. buzz through that again. Yeah, here. The right ear? This one? Just this little little nub here? No, the other one. The left ear. Left ear. His right Kelly, ear. Do you want to show up. yours so we can maybe see? Yeah, if you want to show me, I can kind of guide you where you're show me your your the ear. Wait a minute, I forgot. We're not on video. All right. And Jen, I think it's mostly. Oh, cool. oh, okay. Um, Let's see. Going, oh my God. So he's struggling with this ear. All right. Let me see. Let me keep yours up there, real quick. Hold on. Okay. This is what this is kind of just my my drawing of your ear. So here's what I so here's what you can do. I think it'll help fix that anything issue you're having there. So um, this portion, this right here, have do your darker lines. Have this drop in your shadow into this. Like that. Because this is that rid that you know that rounded portion. So if that part draw drops more shadow in over your 
your ear here, and then this is, can be even a little darker in here. I think that that'll help fix where, at least from what I saw, it looked fine to me, but I think that that would just, that little, that little bit, making that darker there. We'll tuck that in, the interior part of his ear, we'll tuck that back in there a little bit more. That's kind of what you were, what was, what was happening. It was kind of one hole. Okay, good. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Now, is there anything under the nose that you would, Shape. Yeah, so where were we? What part of the nose were we talking about right here? Specifically, like under the nose? Yeah, I think the, the greater upper lip on your drawing. Up here in this portion? On right, that. right below that, that big space. Would you round it out? Um, It's, well, yeah, this, it's, I think the only, like, the way that I would, let me just try to draw, like, draw, I'll take this one a little more seriously. This is what I would try to do. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm just kind of feeling through it a bit. Um, I think maybe what, because it's a big round. I know. And it's space. like space. Are you trying to define it or? Yeah. I want, you're, you're, why are you wanting it to have a little more definition, like a little more rounded? I, I guess what I don't want to, well, let's see, here's what maybe might help. Maybe doing a little bit of shadow under this that goes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know this. It's such a strange. Like feature of a chimpanzee that I don't really know exactly what I would. That's pretty much how I would try to make that look. And I'm not. I don't know if I'm answering if that's kind of getting to your question at all. But it just seems like a lot of empty space. Yeah, it, it is, and it definitely is like this this big space, but it's almost like if you do too much to it, then it starts to look really weird. And it is like a real big space on a chimpanzee, you know, like it's this really big, enormous. I guess, is, is it it's a lip? Is it a lip? I, don't, I mean, I don't it's even know what so you call it. <laughs> but I think if you maybe give some no, I, I totally know what you're thinking. Maybe I would do like uh, what I do normally is on one of my drawings of just like little bolts or a few little bumps here and there. Right. But it really is a, a, an odd space. <laughs> So I don't know that I really was any help to you on well, that one. It just one. doesn't have texture. That's just there's, a yeah. Spot. There's just there's no. Really there's not texture. a whole lot of texture to it, which makes it sort of weird. Like with a human lip, you know, like our lips, we have so many different creases and wrinkles that you can really define those. And that has a little bit on it, but it's really only about right at this portion. Then when it gets up in here, it's really just like this open space. So, thank you. A good opportunity to put in an extra eyeball. Just kidding. I, that would look a little too awkward. <laughs> Anybody else have any sort of th things that they want to? sort of figured out or need help with or
or want to, any ideas with? Did or? you end up shading in the whole eyeball? Yeah, I colored in the whole eyeball. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't like just the big white. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, just I do a little light it. little fill it in. It makes them look a little more real, realistic. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could, let's see, what time is it? 8.45, I guess we can draw, like, just sketch out the arms. The other fun thing about chimpanzees is their hands are so gigantic, like it's just so exact, you can just like, really get exaggerated. And I'm, I'm, I've never been good with hands, so. So are you gonna do the rest of this arm stuff in the third hour? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna mess around with them in the third hour, but it's sometimes cool to have a drawing that like you have a finished kind of face there. I mean, mine's obviously not finished, but then, you know, some unfinished, portion of it. I don't think it's obviously <laughs> unfinished. Oh really? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean I it looks done to me. No 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 I know this is finished. But I'm saying it's a cool and then have unfinished like uh draw you know right I got that. let's just go for it. Unless someone else wants me to go through something in here. I will. I just feel like with this little additional time we have, since like for a lot of people that aren't able to stick around for the third hour and at least get a little bit extra. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna just do, I kind of wanted it to be like his, this hand is holding a lighter. <laughs> he's like, he's like lighting his idea. So I'm gonna draw. I can't see that. Oh. It's gonna be a real light line. Here's the shape I'm going for. Somewhere above his head. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do this if you're afraid it's going to ruin your... <laughs> yeah, hands are hard. Yeah, they? hands are really difficult, but they're fun on chimp, on, like on chimps or apes because they're so exaggerated. They're so large and you can really just get wild with them. That's kind of what I'm going for shape wise. Let's put it in his other arm here. The only reason I want to do it is because I, I want to be able to darken this area. I feel like a floating head, this just all this hair needs some place to go. This hand, these hands, their hands are really large, so you know. You can get yours to do something like that. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to jump into that. Who knows? <laughs> okay, there we go. We're just going to go for it. So.
Tears. This is the like the right here is right here the center of his wrist. So the hairs will go a part, a part line, a part line. Kind of. Let me draw his fingers here real quick. In that shape, you can make him. So we're kind of trying to make him look like he's holding almost clenched like. You may you may not even want to try. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying that. Okay, good. I know that I'm not going to Okay, good. I'm pretending like I know how What's to do it. What's most interesting because when you do it, it looks real easy, but when I try to duplicate what you're doing, it's a mess. <laughs> That's how I feel. And I'm, whenever I'm working on anything, I, I always feel like, wait, this isn't working. That doesn't work at all. That's awful. Like, I look at this right now and I go, what the hell? But once you start shading it, then it really starts to become something, I think. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> so these are like the knuckle, this knuckles right here. Right here. And then this is like palm area. And really, once you start adding the hairs, Yeah, but really, this is like if you, I've, probably there were some people were still trying to work on their the head, maybe. Oh, what the hell! It's all we're all just here for fun anyway, right? And we're learning something. Did we get that uh, the the web address? The yeah, chimp, chimp, cool. she posted at chimphaven.org. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe if we ever, well, not that we could go in without, but. Yeah, they probably don't do a visitor sort of thing. Is there a visitor center, Amy? Probably not. I would imagine so. I don't know, though. <laughs> yeah, that, I feel like that went fairly easy was that not the case then that's i guess that's what you're saying i don't know if everybody went and did it oh good well, I don't i'm know. hoping not because it is a... i'm sure your l tree people are trying it is a little let's see darren looks like he's trying christian's like what john's going for it John, John, John's probably already had Chris a whole other thing happening. Sure, Susan's going. Eddie's going. Trent's going. Brooke's going. Oh, I wish I did a lighthouse on top of mine. Bobby might be going for it. Lisa. I am. You're going for it, for it, Shirley. Good job. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, then here, let's mess around with this hand now. We'll get back up there and wrinkle those up a bit. So let's get this. This hand is kind of just chilling. This is my normal pose for hands. Since I hate drawing hands, this is usually the, the pose I go for. Pupil. What a stupid word. That's not a dumb word. Well, it's bothering me and I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> it is such a strange, strange, strange word. Well, anything is if you just say it over and over. I know. 
but I keep I think of the I think it was black sheep the the when they're getting high on the nitrogen on accident in the car and they're like what are you talking about <laughs> oh I think the movie's called black sheep it's either oh, it's black a sheep movie. yeah or oh I'm thinking black star no it's um it's oh, totally. uh it's Chris Chris and uh, Chris Farley and um, oh one of those slaps yeah stars. and they're like Road they're saying like rows of David Spade and Chris Farley. Yeah, what was it from Black Sheep or was it from the other one? What what the other? Oh, it's been so long since I've seen him. I can't remember. I thought for some reason it was from Tommy Boy or yeah, Black Sheep. The nitrous oxide gets in, and then they're like just thinking of funny words, but they're like they said road because that is a funny word, and I've always just thought road is a weird word since then. And that's what I think of pupil. But pupil doesn't make me laugh. It makes me angry. <laughs> well, you're saying pupil right now. But exactly. how, isn't that how it's pronounced? Pupil? You are doing it. Yeah. But before you did it weird. I felt like you'd said it. Maybe I said weird. pupil. You did. You did a milk. You, like you did a weird thing. Milk. <laughs> I drink my milk. I just totally went right ahead on that. But... Well, we'll Hopefully show everybody's drawings in a few minutes. And whoever, oh, yeah, it's 8.57. Whoever needs to go, they can go. Okay. And then if you want to just keep, keep on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> well, I'm going to put something right here, I know, like an eyeball or something. Always a prime spot for something. All right, look, give them, make them, bring the knuckles to life. I always do mine just the same, like a little round. Oh, there's room for some tattoo action right there on those knuckles. Let's do. Their hands are really wrinkled. Well, everyone's hands are. Yep, 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 yep. Depends on how old you are. No, look at your hands. Look how wrinkled. Oh, I don't want to show that hand. I was a dishwasher. Hey. Look at so gross. Well, mine were prematurely wrinkled when I was a dishwasher at a restaurant. I didn't have it as bad as Adrian's accident when she cut off her finger, but. I almost cut my finger off yesterday. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, yesterday anyway. You just got a little slice. Oh, a little slice. <laughs> my finger, for those of you who have been with us a while, has almost completely grown back. Crazy. I have finger prints on it and everything. It makes no sense. I'm like a... I was, I was telling the kids, I'm like, we might be related to Justin Bieber. What? Is he a lizard? <laughs> He's supposed to be a lizard person in the conspiracy. You know how lizards grow their tails back. Yeah. Why would Justin Bieber be a lizard? You haven't seen that video of him mm -hmm. blinking and he has like oh, extra yeah. eyelids or something? Mm -hmm. no. All right, let's take a look. We at can't. It. We can't hear you. What? Uh, the internet stop? 
Well, it's kind of freaking out. It says it's unstable. Oh, can you see? Oh, well, maybe it's yours. We can see, but it's like, well, maybe it's mine. It might be yours, because mine will usually tell me, but maybe not. Okay, well, I'll mute and see if anybody else is having a problem. I can see you and hear you fine. That might be yours, Mom. I gotta use the restroom real quick and then we'll, we'll go through everyone's. Because it's time, it's time. Oh, well, I'll just go through everybody's now. Well, I'll start on, well, I guess you're. No, yeah. wait for Josh. I or I mean Ty. Keep those people. It's so funny because I go by Inkfish and I, I seem to find them always call me Eddie. But look. So I guess you got your public name and then your private name. My street name. Yeah. Well, you know what it was? It was our last name was too hard to pronounce. And so. No. <laughs> uh, no try going down to Kentucky. <laughs> right, Moses? Yeah. there. Oh, you know Kentucky? You know a few places. We've been around. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, my grandson Moses went on a mission in Kentucky, a Mormon mission, Latter-day Saint mission. Anyway, I was just pulling that one out of my hat. But yeah, the last name was too hard. And so he had to just, Josh was too simple. So we just went with his middle name. Ty made it easy. Okay, he's back. You ready to show some? Hold it up. Yeah, let's check them out. I can watch my screen, right? Here yep. Oh, yeah. Art. Hold it up. <laughs> the wind's blowing. Let's put it closer. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I like the hat. That's sweet. <laughs> awesome, John. Hell yeah. Ink, what did you say? Ink, ink what? Oh, cool. Ink fish, it's a um, hole in the heart. That was a minute. Oh, I like the little mustache. <laughs> That's what you can put there. <laughs> Are you... oh, I'm glad everybody's had room on there to put fit something on top. Yeah, I got a little skate deck in the other hand. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. You guys, you guys are doing great. Yeah. Cut the shades up. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that was you showed Chelsea. Did I do that yeah. already? Yeah. Sorry. Chelsea, she was holding it up. Right. Telling just... everybody, Bell. That's well, fine. You can just watch me eat cherries. Oh, <laughs> lucky. We had a cherry <laughs> down. Should be going. Oh, Claudia. let's see. Claudia. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you, you are. Look? All right, you guys. Happy. I just want to feature. Those are good. Awesome job, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I'll do an official close out and then we'll keep drawing for those of you that want to stick around and draw. Um, again, thank you for joining us for the Drink and Draw. And fine. Decide you want to share your your drawings on social media or anything. <laughs> draw with I I'm up early enough. Um, and. Uh, I hope well, that everybody is happy. I think happy. that everybody should go check out chimphaven.org. Oh, yeah. You should go check out chimphaven.org. We'll see what it's all about. Yeah. And 
Um, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think, how does, how, lonely, does Mr. Okay. Roger, how does Mr. Rogers end up his... Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you, thanks for being my neighbor. No. He always um, had such a great closeout, though. Well, I hope that you guys learned something uh, tonight from this Drink and Draw session. I hope that you enjoyed yourselves. And uh, next Drink and Draw session is two weeks and we're drawing a grasshopper. And um, uh, yeah, sorry enough. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, my pupils. <laughs> oh, boy. That was awesome. Thank <laughs> you. No, I was told that was that was uh, wasn't my idea. I didn't come up oh, with that. Oh, how about this? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, all right, so if you want to stick around and draw, we're going to keep uh, kind of screwing around with you. Uh, please do share them. If you don't want to post them or anything, at least, at least email them to me or, 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 or something. I would just like to see them. And uh, we'll, uh, you should get an email um, in a couple of days with a link to find the, this third hour recording. On um, Also, if you want the, uh, a link to the uh, the, um, the the alien drawing that we did. Um, just send me an email. I, I I just barely got that uploaded. I can send you the link to uh, for you to watch. Is that just the last hour? Of that? It's the whole session, but it does have the last hour. Oh. Uh, and um, yeah, you guys. Thanks again. I hope that everybody's out there. Um, uh, yeah. Out there. Out there and alive and, and, and doing well and, and getting through these these uh, hectic times. And uh, I will leave it at that. Those of you that don't know, thank you for joining us. For Looking forward to the caterpillar or the grasshopper. Grasshopper. I'm going to ask everybody to email him to my one of my best friends, Johnny Ritchie. He's like the, one of the toughest guys I know, but he's terrified of grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Ty. I love you all. <laughs> love you, Mom. Bring it down. Bye. <laughs> all right. Here we go. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. I love that you love it. I love it more than you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everybody. All right, here we go. Now uh, we're moving on to good behavior. So I'm writing idea, idea on my knuckles in, because uh, he's got an idea and also in tribute to uh, the rapper idea. I, there's something going on in this portion of my drawing that I still really, really dislike. And I'm going to try to hash that out. And then I'll get back to these arms. But something is bugging me about this right here. Maybe it's because there's not an end line. I always feel like there's more that I could have said at the end. Oh, you say. I know. You, say you know, like when Howard's trying to sign off, <laughs> it's like it's just too hard to say goodbye. Did you notice what pen I was using? I stopped using my art by tie pens because they all went kaput. Mm -mm, I didn't know that. Remember, these were always one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. The Bridge. I found this in my drawer was stay in when I was searching for the plumbing tool this morning. Thank you, Heather. How's your studio coming along? Oh, man. 
It's coming. It's we're 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 really 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 close. That's so great. Got it all painted on the exterior, and I got all my I I pulled all the wires, so I got all my electric ready. We're we're, we're having a an insulation guy come spray out do the foam insulation everywhere. So um, I had to get all the stuff interior ready in the wall on the walls so they could be sprayed. So. I'm doing plumbing. I'm starting plumbing now. I mean, it's basically working from air scratch. Conditioning so, units. Yeah, air I just got my heat. air conditioning, my mini split air conditioning units today, like 15 minutes before this, sh this started. So we're coming along. So yeah, here. it looks good though. It almost looks done from the outside. Once they do the spray foam insulation, you, you can't really go in there for a few days because I think it's kind of toxic. So it'll give us a chance to finish up the rest of the exterior, but it's all taint painted and just need some trim and some little finishing things. It'll look really pretty from the outside. Yeah, it's yeah. looking really good. I'm excited. And it was really bad when we got it. It was horrific. The city wanted us to just tear it down. Yeah. <laughs> so now when people are driving by, it, it looks cute. It's you a see head turner them, for sure. You see them go, wait, was that always there? You two have been working your butts off. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of starting to lag out a little bit though. This week we we're both kind of like, what? Is, yeah, I had what, a bad day. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I'm just give up today. <laughs> but that's how I am with the with the drawing. Once you start, you can't just quit. You got to just keep going. It'll be worth it. I can't wait until we can get, kind of start getting it out like where we can start getting back to where people are kind of traveling more and we can get back to some real life. I, I can't wait to like have people come stay at the gout, like at the, the B and B cause it's going to be awesome. It will happen too, right? Like it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, I know. That's how it keeps feeling. <laughs> and people will rent it too. Not for, just for just, that reason, just oh, yeah, because just it's to, the gallery, because it is that I know I've said before. Yeah, actual tourist. I know oh, a little yeah. tourist attraction here or this town but i think people are already get well it depends on where you're at yeah, people are already getting out here in hannibal we i was me and my son went for a bike ride th thursday night and they used to do this thing called music under the stars here downtown and uh we went out and the sh they were doing it it was packed like there were wow. hundreds and hundreds of like and people, and most of this town too is like people in their like 60s, 70s, and 80s, and that's all the people that were out there. Nobody was wearing masks. Wow. Live music, and it was just packed. It was crazy. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe it was like it was so bizarre. It, was, it is funny because every time we've gone down there, we're always like, man, we're the youngest ones here <laughs> because everybody's hair is just white. But they're they're saying, and they're just going. They're just I going think they for don't it. Even care. Yeah. I think they don't care. It is it's, it's definitely it's really bizarre. If you look at John Hopkins in the next two weeks, you can see if that had bad impact. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Website? If you look at John Hopkins has a site of all the COVID patients that yeah. um, are die or are positive. Right. Um, so yeah, we're we're sort of waiting for that to happen here because of all the protests that have happened in the last couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, I don't. I still am not sure if we actually have testing here. I know there is some, but I think that I don't know why I think this, but I feel like they turn down a lot of people if the symptoms aren't exactly right or something. They might not have. I might be wrong on that, know. but. I don't, I think they've only had like 10 cases here confirmed. Oh, I yeah, know, crazy. but <laughs> we swear. Your death rate is, <laughs> no. But. Yeah, no, it's, but what the death rate. Oh. We had a spike this past week. We were on, we only had, we had a few weeks where we didn't have any cases. And then this past week we had a spike of like 75 people. Okay. And at least like 30 of them were, were kids. Really? Yeah. Where, where are you? Uh, Vermont. Huh. 
And the kids did they they were showing symptoms then, or were they? They just, must have been. They're they're doing um they're doing the open testing. You don't have to have to symptoms to go and get tested. Okay. But they they found that this group they think it was like an isolated group. I think it was like a family gathering, a Memorial Day weekend kind of thing. But they won't actually say where or what. But it's it's a good chunk of people. Are your schools opening over there? They're going to be opening in the fall, yeah. Ours in Utah still aren't sure, or at least in the town we're in. Sounds like they may do half the school virtually one day and the rest go in and just kind of swap it to keep this. But we're doing that now, but like little, little groups. Okay. Uh, we just started about two weeks ago. Mind you, we have nothing here. Um, we had, um, I think we have eight active cases and we've had seven deaths in our province. Well, so we're in the minute. guinea pig province for everyone to go back. Wow. Wow. What province are you in? We're in Manitoba. Oh, right, right. I think we talked the last time. Yeah. Too bad you're not having the folk fest this year. Nope. <laughs> That's a bummer. That's like my favorite part of every year, next to the state fair in Minnesota. Well, they were saying they're doing like fringe fest online on the news. Yeah, online. Crazy. Just canceled the Iowa State Fair first time in like 40 years or something I like that. I said that. That's crazy too. Yeah, that's the biggest one in the country, isn't it? Or is it's up there? I don't know. You think it's bigger than the Minnesota State Fair? That thing is huge. Oh, I don't. I, don't, I guess I don't know. I have always just heard about the Iowa, and I don't know why <laughs> I hear about Iowa State Fair. I always heard the Texas one was the biggest one. I would imagine. The Texas is really big. Everything's bigger in Texas. It really is. Those steaks that we drive past that place with those. How, how many pounds of those steaks or ounces? In Amarillo? The 72 ounce steak? <laughs> Has anybody ever eaten? Anyone ever tried that? <laughs> or been there? I think it's the place for the John with no, the John that's a Candy. That, that's a, that but place. it's maybe based on that um, in the camping movie, The Great Outdoors. Do you guys know of that place, the the seventy two ounce steak place in in uh, Amarillo? Is it in Amarillo? Yeah. Where you can go if you eat the whole steak, gristle and all, you get your name on the wall and the free. Well, I have a friend that went, and he said it's the most disgusting thing ever because they sit you up on the table, up on top, and, like, people are eating, and, like, people are puke, like, can't eat all that food, and they put a oh. bucket next to you. It's disgusting. That's gross. That's gross. It is gross. I, I wonder if they can do that. Do you want this juice? Do you want this juice? I don't even know, yeah. I didn't get like I didn't really do much with this one. I just wanted to just draw a chimpanzee. Well, I think you're accomplishing it. Is anybody able to get out and do anything on the weekends that's distanced or not, different or not? That little bit. Our drive-in movie theaters are open, but I haven't. They're like two hours from me, so I haven't gone to venture yet. Right. Well, that's a good thing. Our, I think our movie theaters are opening on the 15th, and I'm like, oh, Yeah, but no, one's, no I mean, we, when, when we go to a movie here, there's, there's nobody in there, yeah, ever. Like, literally. They might be packed. I know, that's true. And those, it's not the drive-in, it's a regular theater, but that sounds like fun. 
driving. Uh -huh. That'd be kind of fun. Different, unless you're getting out. We were talking about buying this big piece of property behind our house here in Hannibal and turning it into a drive-in movie theater about, uh -huh. oh, a year ago, right? Wasn't that when we were hanging out? A little out? more. But, oh. Oh. Too bad we didn't do it. <laughs> Would have been so packed right now. I have a bunch of really unused big farm fields around me. I wish somebody would throw a screen up on them. Yeah. We'll just have them stack a bunch of uh, bricks of hay and you can just throw a sheet. That's true. We can do it that way. Are those where, are, are the, I think it was you who said that you've been getting ticks in the fields. That yeah. Are yeah. Fields. I hate ticks. Ugh. I tried out paddle boarding for the first time last week, and that was a lot of fun. That is fun. Yeah. You, I guess you liked it then. Loved it. And then right after, because in Minneapolis, they have, we have the three lakes in a row. So you can, um, I docked my paddleboard and grabbed the kayak and took my drawing stuff out and went and drew on the lake for six hours. It was an awesome time. That is awesome. Um, the three lakes. That's not right there by the uptown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. It's Calhoun are now called Bidet Macosca and Cedar and Lake of the Isles. It's right one after another. You just, you can boat all day on there. Yeah. Our kids tried to drive our van into. They do, to that lake right there at the end of the mall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta be right by me. I'm in Uptown. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm on 32nd and Gerard. Ah, 27th and Pleasant. No kidding. You guys are <laughs> And I'll, I, I, that one, I'm really bummed that we're not going to be able to be going to mm -hmm. Uptown this year. Oh, oh our if, Airbnb right there. I wish, I might send you some pictures. I wish you could see what people have done because of all the, the boarding up of the, all the shops on Hennepin. Yeah. Artists have come out and done wall murals, graffiti. Oh, so, uh, it's all, I, I, um, Uptown, um, the Uptown uh, art, uh, you know, I follow them on Instagram. They posted a bunch of pictures from. So great. Yeah, it looked awesome. Well, that's good. At least there's that. Yeah. I love Minneapolis. I do too, and I really like that area. That vegan restaurant right there on that corner. In the mall, on the actual mall, not McGrath Mall. Which vegan restaurant? I don't know. Maybe the olive or something. I don't know what it's called. This is right there. I still love that sushi restaurant. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's good too. Isn't that something called like Koi, maybe? I'm just making these names up. You are. <laughs> well, we'll be there next year. Didn't they say they were doing two minis? Or was it no, there were else? three little minis, but now I don't, now I don't know is but I don't want to it's like just a day thing we can't drive out there for a day oh, and right. they might not even be doing it now. that's true um how did cleanup go last week or two few well, I guess was that two weeks ago mm -hmm. Jen clean up clean up oh my goodness clean up is still going on here but how was it for you to get out there and help with all that um, gosh. Sorry, it sounds like it sounds like your neighborhood. <laughs> um, it was it was really nice, and then um, we went to the George Floyd Memorial. What was amazing is that like they had chalk everywhere and stuff that you can make like paint on big canvases. So it's kind of nice to get out there and be like part of like the right. creation of. Yeah. And now now you can sign up to go paint murals as well so that's kind of been cool that is cool well that's what you should do yeah i may do that this weekend oh are you 
Yeah, yeah, on Saturday. Good. Yeah, nothing going on out here. Just the cars are packed, so same story. Today was our first day we opened the bars. Um, oh. And I took a bunch of my staff out for drinks this afternoon. I like called it an early day for them, and um, it was packed with as packed as it can be. It was packed, but weird. I don't know if you all feel this, but it was really weird to be out with people. It is weird. You know, really, I haven't been out yet. Our bars are packed, but I haven't gotten. I just, I don't know. What if I don't know? We, I we truly anything. believe a good portion of us here all had it but my wife didn't get it yeah. but if I, the when i first got it back in march when i left we found out that everybody else ended up <laughs> so we all were like what's that thing the the, the immunity the, the herd immunity, herd immunity yeah. herd immunity. but it is like really everybody in this town that i talked to remembers back in march that like they, I mean, not just remembers, but like is the sickest they'd ever been in their lives. Plus they all got tested for the flu and the flu, all yeah. the flus came back negative and they just gave them antibiotics. But yeah, he, we went out to sushi March 3rd for our daughter's birthday at this really packed place. You have to wait in a line for an hour to get in. And sushi so country. we are not sure if he caught whatever it was from the sushi place. The no. next day he drove here. It's not a sickness from the sushi place, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And or if then he came here and went out and partied the next night. So there's like the one day of driving between these two nights, and so we don't know if he brought it or if I got it from here. <laughs> which means that I probably would have had it and not known, or if he got it out here and then when he was better he just drove right back to Salt Lake. <laughs> We didn't know if they were going to shut down the nation or what. So, because you could have had it with being asymptomatic, you could have completely. Okay. Yeah. It's so hot here, right now, and like, I'm sure it's the same where you are, but the humidity. I'm like, I cannot have a fever right now. Oh gosh. I don't want to be sick. I don't. I don't. I just don't have that desire to go out yet. If I'm looking at a few weeks laying down in bed sweating. <laughs> worse or worse yeah yeah hopefully the antibody tests maybe work and i don't know maybe we'll have access to them when we go back to salt lake in july i'm thinking a, a, a good uh drawing title might be herd immunity and what does that look like yeah like Hannibal, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went because I, I, this last, was that Saturday? Saturday night, this, this guy, this guy in the town is opening up a, his own tattoo shop and he's friends of a friend of mine and he had like a little gathering and it's just right across the street from my house. So I walked over there and it was a little weird being around all the, around the people, but everyone there, everybody that was there, all said that back in March they were right at the same time as you. Right at the same spread time, spread it to them. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like over over twenty people, all you know, all, not all just like immediate friends, hmm. but and then not even just those people, even people I run into. I happen to be downtown or whatever. They are all, all have something. It's possible. I really believe it is possible that it happened here. I think I think it could have worked right through earlier. I don't know how it got here so quick. If it did. Yeah. That's the What's question. the other thing called when you can get tested? They can find out if you did have it. The antibody test. They're not doing that here in Hannibal, right? I don't know, but we're not on there. In insurance so I'm not gonna go over there. I doubt it's free here. And they just heard New York is back on the rise like they had 50 something deaths today. No oh, really? Yeah it's just not good. Yeah it didn't go away. Especially in those dense communities though. So. Right. 
it's gonna be so hard with all the elevators and then not having the backyard. Or transportation, right? Like you just get on the train. Like, like that's how you get around. So you're around people. And even getting in an Uber. Right. Um, everything. Everything about a city like New York is that's like a disaster for them. Any major city like that. But like you said, even like just say, I'm thinking about just some of these apartments near us where everybody's staying in one spot, like in that one part, like there are apartments, you know, with one ent entrance and out. I just, you know, especially here, that there are some people that aren't, you know, hygiene is not the best thing. Like that just seems very, <laughs> who knows? I guess we'll know one day. Yeah. We'll be able to look back and go, oh. Well, I was just going through my emails oh, yeah. today and delete a bunch of stuff on there. And I was like, remembering a time when there was, when they were talking about like setup times for uptown art fair and oh. like pre any COVID. Well, but uptown may have gone on. I don't know. I don't know. Well, didn't the, the, the fair close before uptown did? Yeah. Aren't you guys, aren't they going to do a drive through fair in Minnesota or did it get canceled completely? Oh, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I am, I'm, I'm looking to, to contact their vendors from the state fair because I, I work at Fairview, M Health Fairview. So what I'm trying to build is like an M Health fair, State Fairview so, so that those vendors can come out for like the hospitals so that there's, you know, that people can still have like, the cheese curds and crap that they yeah. put into the oil so i'm not quite sure i'll find out soon though because i'm going to be contacting them there i'm glad the people are still wanting to draw i was not going to do them but then i just got a lot of emails from people that still wanted to do them so good for me too this is our therapy and we really enjoy it so thank you for having it <laughs> It is mine too, you know. And it's it's, been, it's really been beneficial for me as well, because otherwise I'd just be working on the gallery. I really haven't drawn. The only time I draw right now is for these drinking draws. So it's been great for me, and it is nice to just hang out with you guys. So. We appreciate it. Agreed. Agreed. Same here. Um, I also I have a group in New York that um is. Unfortunately, one of their parents died, so they're all sitting shiva for the death, but <clears throat> they want to join as well, so oh, cool. we'll see them showing up soon. They're in a uh, couple of New Yorkers. Sorry to hear that they're, instead of a family member. Yeah, it was her, um, one of my friend's moms, but she was 90-something, COVID, she, they think she, the death causes COVID, so. So she, so she wasn't in the hospital alone or anything? She was in a um, assisted living alone, so tough, tough yeah. ending, but. Hard. Those are getting hit the worst, right? Like it's yeah. Hard, yeah. Yeah, my partner, Judy, um, she works at a nursing home here in Minneapolis, and um, they have like 80 cases of, and they're just one after another people dying because the older population is, is dying from COVID. That's it. And there's her? Not you can really like. What do you do? That's at her nursing home. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, she said like every day there's another person that's dead, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like horrible. Do you do you think that you guys have probably had it? Um, yeah, I had a weird um, persistent cough for like three months. Like it, I'm, a, I finally have been rid of it, but for sure like in the very beginning the first patient that came in from wuhan was in february and by march i was like okay i've developed like a smoker's cough and then lots of people here had a, like this strange dry cough and it went on for a long time but you know i've been around lots of covid patients in the last three months and been fine that cough is the worst <laughs> I mean, not the wor not the worst part of it, but it is awful. As that that's how long mine was two months. And then mine turned into headaches, and then the breathing issues. 
exhaustion. Yeah, his was weird. He got delirious at one point. Yes. But our son has always, since he was a baby, he would get this, whenever he gets sick, he gets this cough that is, just sounds like, what is it? And it's the loudest, driest, craziest cough you ever heard. It sounds like a, and we were just so scared that he was just going to get sick, period, and have a cough around people because it's just like, somebody get that kid and pop him away from here. Like? Like it sounds like, whoop. I, well, I <laughs> it's just so it's weird. Like gnarly as sound. <laughs> but so. you don't want him coughing right now because... You basically can't cough right now. <laughs> no. You can't. It's like, a head turner for sure. <laughs> So grateful that my allergies have calmed down. <laughs> Even the like the runny nose, itchy eyes, look sick. We look at people's drawings, sure. how they're going. I want to see how everyone else is doing because I, I am really struggling here. Does anyone want to show what Let's they're working see. on? Chelsea's working. Bring the spotlight here, but Chelsea. Ooh. Oh, awesome. Oh, I love the goat idea. You should look over there. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong screen. Oh, so small. Yeah, nice. Oh, cool, oh, you guys. Oops. I almost just made you the host. Mm, I think that's it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, those are your initials on his eyebrow, John? Oh, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, I have, I've been throwing those on there somewhere. Yeah, cool. Good job, everybody. Exciting. Good stuff. <laughs> I just got to copy you whenever I try to do something off program oh. here. It doesn't really work out very well. It doesn't bother me at all. I love it. John, I feel the same way because when he started doing the arm, I was kind of moving to the shoulder and I'm like, uh, well, I don't really know where the neck is or the shoulder. So I think I'm quitting at the face. I don't know where anything goes without him showing me. I don't really know where it goes either. Well, you do though. You kind of have a better idea. I had never really drawn anything till these drink and draws. Are you serious? Yeah. That's amazing. Cause you go for it, man, and I love it. Cause it's a lot easier to cop try to copy you versus do something on my own. It's like, yeah, oh, that didn't work. Have you done any drawing though? Like, have you ever have you been doing any just uh, drawing like on your own? Like, not from? Uh, I've done one. I did it actually after a drink and draw, so I rushed it a little bit. That was really, I don't know if it was the best idea to do it that night. How did it go? Oh, it was okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I have it around here somewhere. This is my next one. I want to do uh, the murder hornet eating sushi. That's my, I want to attempt this one of these days. Oh, yeah. That Joshua, uh, Hi, whatever. Would trade places with that murder hornet right now. Well, yeah, I have, we don't have sushi here. That's my. That's like. That's I. I love sushi. That's it. We just got it for the first time. Carry out in like three months. Right? It was so oh, good. It is killing me. We don't even. Even if it wasn't COVID, we have. We don't have any in Hannibal. <laughs> I have to drive three hours to get to anything decent. <laughs> I mean, I I can get just like you know like some cheaper fish from like uh, the grocery like. Not cheap fish, but like a good, but just basic like a tuna or or um, or a salmon from like the grocery store. 
good, but it's not like actually like sitting down and having some good soup. Oh, yeah, I would trade. It would be the murder. The one I attempted on my own. Oh, well, let's, I'm going to going on. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wicked cool. Is that Jordan? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Odd that I would recognize. Yeah, well, he's also dunking down there at the bottom. Oh. You know, this Jordan, the Jordan dunk. I, I have a love hate relationship with that, the Bulls and Jordan. Me being from Utah, I've been a Utah Jazz fan my whole yeah, life. Yeah, huh? yeah, they got Malone and Stockton, huh? That was it. That was when we had, that was our chance, man. That was our chance three years in a row. And the Bulls decided that it was not our time. <laughs> Yeah, they still – everyone in Utah still calls the, uh, the Jordan push-off. When they, okay. Was that Russell? Is that who's guarding? Brian Russell push-off. That's what they still they still call it. It wasn't anything – I mean, everyone in Utah wears their jazz glasses. But. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Jordan said he was already leaning that way. He was already yeah, off the run. Like, if you watch the video, he was like, kind of moving already. Didn't he just come out with the movie, Jordan? Wasn't that movie yeah. about him? They yeah, still have a biography or series on. Uh, yes. After that came out, they had a spike of uh, sales on eBay for his original Jordan cards, and somebody was selling them for like somebody sold one for like ten thousand dollars or something like that. That's yeah, crazy. Like memorabilia and cards have skyrocketed since that show. Yeah. It's kind of funny too, like all the vintage, they call them vintage, vintage 90s t-shirts. So, are like hard, hard, hard to find too. And they're selling, people are going to thrift stores, collecting them and selling them for a lot of money. Wow. I still have a few of mine. <laughs> they're really comfortable. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the, uh, right during the 90s, like the L.A., like when gangster, gangster rap was really Right, hard. those, and then I yeah, think the Purple pinch. Rain. Yeah, and... Troy always wore the uh, Bulls jersey or the L.A. Kings pinstripe jersey. Oh, yeah, and I wasn't even seeing um, sport figures. I was just... The, the article I was reading was just showing some of the older yeah. bands and I don't know things from that time. I, just, I have an original Simpsons t-shirt so <laughs> I certainly don't have anything. I got a I got a storage unit not a storage I unit. I know you do. Cold storage full of all kinds of fun stuff. You know in the movies there's a closet the, they're like don't open that closet everything's gonna tumble out well, that's his closet with all sorts of random Not crap random. Old, like just pez garbage pail kids t-shirts like bags and bags of clothing just old shit that's gonna come that's gonna be one of those things and you're gonna be like my our kids gonna be like yeah i have those yeah. my dad saved them check these out <laughs> like, what is this? Throw them away. I was just seeing the other day some of those garbage pail kids, like perfect condition, are a thousand bucks a piece. I got boxes. I got. I got. I got bo two boxes full of old garbage pail kids. Every all series. Crazy. We have He Man castle. Oh, yeah. he -Man. I got it all, man. <laughs> there is. No, I am not kidding. That that you open that closet door and things will just fall. <laughs> Like Legos from back then are also worth a lot of money right now. Legos? Legos, yeah. Uh, that's something. Like I guess they're different than what they are now. Like it's changed not. just enough. They're stronger too, and they, the snapping is a little bit different. Well, you know, the little newer, the new Legos are a little different. I um never played with Legos as a child, so I don't know. I only know that our kids like. Barely spotlight the video. Or is that tripping? It oh, glitched. Oh. What am I going to put on that hand right there? I 
will say that when speaking of Legos, it just reminded me our our son was way, way, way into Legos. We were doing a art gallery in Denmark years ago and we were there for several weeks just doing nothing. So we went down to the town where um Lego was and our son was just into it. We knew it was just a factory and we couldn't actually get in or do anything, but we just thought, oh, what the hell, we'll just drive down there. So we drove down there and I was just expecting, it's plastic, so I was just expecting to see fumes of smoke and this and that. And this was like a few city blocks full of Lego factory. And I did not see one stack. No, remember they had a whole thing too about uh... It was like, like zero uh, emissions. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty wild. I was They're switching the recipe to hemp to make them more uh, environmentally friendly. I know they are. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, so that, and when they end up in the landfill, they can actually like both. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Oh, I worked at a in high school. I worked at a a plastics place where we like did these plastic presses of things and I remember one of those machines like malfunctioned we worked me and Troy worked late night and it and it like malfunctioned just started smoking up but it was like toxic. it was so toxic yeah <laughs> <laughs> My dad worked at a one a plastic factory for a short time, and he would bring home um, like little bits that came off of, of the machines that were in like just strange, weird sculptural shapes. Right. Yeah. Were they plastic shapes, or they were, they were just like they weren't like molded. They were just like plastic that the end plastic that came off the machine that just kind of melted into whatever it felt like melting into. Remember those wax? I don't think he has any of them. I didn't remember that. No. The wax things you would get at the zoo. Oh, yeah. 50 cents. Yeah. And that smell of that, that smell. Of that. Yeah. <laughs> they still do those? Like, do zoos still have those, like, wax melt things? I think that was a star zoo, but. They're everywhere. It's like Oh yeah, they still do the I smashed know, penny. Penny flattener. Mm -hmm. All right. I I gotta leave you guys. I gotta get up in the morning. Hey. Right. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks again. Yeah. Look forward to seeing your finished drawing. I'll upload it. Almost like it's like the 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 DEA. Kind of worked pretty fast today. Yeah, you did good. You got it done before. Getting up the arm. Uh, well, also, it's getting a little after you start seeing everyone's drawings, it's starting to feel like people are able to just do it. I'm not so caught up on certain things, you know. Well, what about the <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no, that's good. Something about it's still bothering me.
completely abandoned that. Oh. oh, you're no, no longer optimistic? Huh? What? No. I was doing for a little while. Yin Yang? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I haven't drawn one of those in a little while. I remember I was starting to do them. What? Yeah, earlier this year I did it on a few drawings. And huh. it. But I like the concept of it. Maybe I was thinking of that. Remember that video game TNC Surf? Yeah. Or maybe that was a that was a clothing line too. Right? I don't know. It sounds like something that you were probably not born Michael. Yet. <laughs> no, I think it was a. a I know it was video a video game because I think Mikey used to play it. A Nintendo game. It was a gorilla or something, right? On the surfboard? Yeah. Gorilla and a... Yeah, definitely a gorilla. And he had a surfboard. TNT surf. Oh, man, that is... That is a funky beer. Caramel and vanilla L. <laughs> Well, try that? Uh -huh. Oh, ale. Caramel cream. I'm uh, like, I don't know what an L is. Is that like an Odell sample pack? Or what do you got there? That I have? Yeah. No, I, I, but the grocery store, I, I pick your own, pick a uh, Some singles. Yeah, so this is Clyde's caramel cream, caramel, and vanilla L. I'm hoping that's not real cream, but now that I'm thinking about it, it probably is. Oh, just looking for okay. Flavor. Yeah, the other one was a yeah. It was just a pick, pick, pick six. All I have from my Utah, all all I have in my refrigerator right now are double IPAs, and I can't do a drink and draw with drinking double IPAs. <laughs> Sneak up on it. <laughs> And uh, all these are all these has the, uh, the hard root beer packs, like a hard root beer six pack. It's so gross. It's so sugary, but like on really incredibly hot days, I don't know. It's it's pretty good, and it was only like three three forty nine for a six pack at all these. <laughs> so I bought a six pack of those hard root beers, but I didn't want to drink those. But like after a real hot day working out in the studio. I don't know. A nice ice cold beer is really good, but uh, for some reason that you should have made a root beer float. Hard root beers. Oh yeah. We haven't done any root beer floats with our with vegan ice cream. I wonder if it works the same. Sure. I got to do the plumbing. I'm going to try to get that plumbing done tomorrow. And I wanted to maybe get the inline of those air conditioners in. Maybe. I definitely got to get the plumbing in for all the wall plumbing. I just hope they show up to work. Well, he will. He just sounds like they had a lot of work they had to do. But yeah, early enough that we can get the drywall and stuff. Mm -hmm. right? Hopefully, you uh, hopefully people will I'll come stay by. at the gallery. We'll pass through on our way somewhere. Hopefully, we'll be in town. Nah, that's true. 
float up river to Minnesota, down river. No, up. Well, up to Minnesota. I think that's a pretty good float. <laughs> But what can you, what don't, where do the cruises, oh, the cruises are only here. And, and so, I mean. The cruises are um, on pause. Well, I know, but when they did them, when they do them, they're only Missouri cruise, right? No, it, they, go, state, state? they go down to New Orleans and up to. Those cruise lines come from, come from well, New Orleans? Well, they can. This, the seven day cruise ship? They have different options. I know, but that seven day like that. What's that big, that one that's... That the, the Mississippi, the Queen of the... Mississippi Queen? Where does that come from? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, they just, you know, they have different routes. I mean, same route, but different Well, now they're building stops. that new dock. I'm wondering if they're going to get different cruise ships coming to the dock. They signed a deal with oh. different ones, which is why they decided to rebuild the river walk. But it's not been a good year for cruise ships. No, it's not. <laughs> Chimp. Chimp. Jenna, so uh, do you think I'm overreacting not going out? Who are you asking? Jen. Oh. Um, I don't I don't think so. Um because it's mostly old people that die. I don't have anything conditions that I know of. Yeah, I, it is mostly older people that die, but you know, there are some a few young people that do die. Um we just had a 30-year-old die from the Board of Education, so it does happen. Um, I I don't have a lot of fear because I've been around it since the beginning. But um, I think if you're masked up and you um, have good hand hygiene, I think you're okay. okay. I mean, Both of I, those Adrian has. I go to Lowe's pretty much every day, but that's a yeah. good place. That's probably that's probably more. <sighs> I just see the pupil. I had a pupil a while ago. I have to show you at some point. Um, yeah. So if you're out with Lowe's, you're out, you're out with the people. So you're probably okay. She always, but she always wear wears the mask. Her mask but the they're not wearing the mask, so I'm only protecting them. They're not trying to protect me. All the all the Lowe's employees here in Hannibal, they all wear masks, but only over like. Their bottom lip. Or their chin. <laughs> or their chin. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just take this dumb thing off then. Right. It must be company policy because if their nose is hanging out, oh, it's, it's just on their policy. chin. <laughs> I see the emergency room people do the same. It just drives me a little bit crazy. Really? In the emergency room they're doing that? Well, because, you know, you're exposed constantly to all sorts of things. So people are... You know, when you're thirsty, that, that surgical mask on for 12 hours, it's like, yeah. Any mask is awful to wear. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> we actually get um, disciplinary action if we don't have those things on. Yeah. I bet. What, what do we do? Spank. The ruler. Spanking. <laughs> No, I can get written off. I'm like, hey. Thought about those. It's been a while since we've worked a real job. <laughs> Maybe they should just spank us instead. <laughs> <laughs> that might not. That, some people are, you know, that might. People might, people might start taking off their masks. <laughs> cool fines. I know that. Um, where was it? Fine. Somewhere, if you're not wearing your oh, uh, Israel, if you're not wearing your mask, if you're caught oh, not no, wearing a mask, you have to pay fifteen hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. Oh. And for how long, right? Like, is how does that even work, right? Is that going to be a forever? Because I really hope we don't end up in masks for. No, that's not. I mean, they're not socks. They're not comfortable. 
Yeah. Oh, they suck. They dry my eyes out. <laughs> you know. I ate it. You can't wear them with contacts because they dry your contacts out. You can't wear them with glasses because they just fog up. Fog up, yeah. Yeah, our air quality in Salt Lake is horrible during the winter. So we try and run frequently. Oh, that is so hard and we bought mask. masks this year because it just gets so gross that you just look outside and you're like, I can't breathe that. But I can't not work out. So we bought some masks and trying to run with those on in the dead, of, even in the dead of winter when it was warming up your face. But it's oh, but ooh, that's even hard. I mean, it's that's so hard to, to run. It's like trying to breathe through mud. Right. Why is the air so bad there? The mountains um, create like this perfect bubble there's nowhere so for the inversion comes down and the cold air pushes because of the cold air too yeah and so it just gets trapped through because we're kind of surrounded by mountains in the valley and it can't push through unless there's a storm and there's so much traffic there's nobody really takes the public um transportation and the down the people downtown are better about riding bikes but it's a sprawling suburb outside of the city so everyone drives down into work and now there's what what are they calling the new silicon valley out there i don't know so now we got um adobe and some other big tech companies out there on the opposite side so now there's traffic going in both directions which we we never had before so it's just really Bad. But we don't get tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mountains protect us from tornadoes. Do you get fires then? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Uh, it yeah, should be about. Mountains and fires. We should be coming up into fire season right now. And uh, earthquakes. Oh, no kidding. That's horrible. We never had them before. This, the, 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 the I mean, we had little ones, but yes, uh, Deborah says so. Salt Lake did have a tornado. That's right. Yeah, we did have one. We do. They do. One have person tornadoes. died in that tornado, actually. So Salt Lake or Utah actually does have tornadoes. It's but not common. Yeah, it's very uncommon. Like there's no tornado sirens. They're so random, and mostly out beyond the mountains. But the one tornado that did hit hit Salt Lake downtown Salt Lake City. Yeah, during, during the, the, the outdoor creation festival. expo or something. The outdoor. Yeah. The biggest one in the country. Now, do you get the? I lived in New Mexico for in Santa Fe for a period of time, and we ended up having monsoons every afternoon. Do you had? Do you have those as well? Uh, not, not usually. No. There, we're lucky to harvest the snow and. Um, Keep that in reservoirs to get to really get through the the summer months. There's not um, water. <laughs> it doesn't really rain too often. And now so many people are moving in with the tech stuff and the economy there has always been good. But we're just like, there's not going to be enough water. Wow. No, there's not. And that people are moving. It's the fastest growing city in the nation. Pretty damn beautiful. There, Silicon though. slopes. That's what they're calling it. Oh my gosh. But it's so inexpensive to live there. For now. For right. now. That's right. That's why we are still paying that mortgage. That's why we're keeping that property, that house. Yeah. And they will just get rid of it. But it is that property. Our homes tripled in price in the last, well, doubled in the last five years. That's fantastic. It ain't like a home I grew up in anymore. It is overpopulated. What a beautiful city. Salt Lake City reminds me a lot like Minneapolis. Really? Yeah. Got that same kind of vibe. I don't know what it is. I don't either, but they are, there's something, there's a similar quality. I think, uh, Minneapolis is more progressive, well, for absolutely. sure, but I think Salt Lake strives to be 
Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City, like Salt Lake City proper is pretty progressive though. Pupil, even even with the look of it looks weird. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're still on that. Uh, is that spelled right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I fear for your dreams tonight, Pew Pew. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just wrote Pupple. How did I do that? That's why it's bothering me. <laughs> How is it spelled? Wait, isn't that right? I don't know. <laughs> it's now right. it's freaking me out. I think it's right. It's right. I am just messing with him. I, <laughs> I need to find. Will you, will you Google the origins of that word? I, I Without Wi Fi, I get oh. nothing. I can't believe how much that is bothering me. I never let something like that really bother me, but. Oh, all right. I think I probably got about another 15, 20 minutes. I gotta get up early and do some plumbing. It's so hot too. Like I can't, out, like you know. I mean, those of you are in the, like in the Midwest, the, in the Midwest, like or the South. Or the, yeah, that's true. But I mean, like after after ten they, ten o'clock in the morning, like it's almost unbearable to be outside. Yeah, we had ninety six earlier in the week. Where yeah. are you, Darren? Yeah. Oh right, you're the neighbor, right? Yeah, ninety six here is terrible. Yeah, that was yucky. That was not fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had about that last yeah. Saturday. Yeah, so we've been trying to do the, like, I'll get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and just get out there and try to get as much, I mean, work right through it still, but as long as I can get some good. But I think I was out there working on the gallery until, like, 9.30 last night. I went from 6 a.m. to 9.30, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, yesterday it was, in, it was like in the low 70s, though, so I was trying to milk that. <laughs> I'm running out of time. No. <laughs> what what else do you have to go do? Well, I just mean I know we're going to be leaving soon. This one have done. Pupil. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Ty. It was a great night. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Yeah, okay, cheers. Thanks. I have a chinchilla running around my room right here. Oh, you do? Scared the crap out of me. Where is it? Let's see it. Let me try to catch her. Hold on one second. Yeah. Oh, spotlight, yes, I can see it better. Yeah, give me a sec. I gotta catch her. She's eating oh. things that she shouldn't probably. Okay, I got her. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. how cute. She's very sweet. So soft. Yeah, she, I have, um, she and a bearded dragon that run the house and the rule of thumb is they're not supposed to be in this room and so, certainly somebody has come in. <laughs> do they, they roam free, the both of them? Um, they do at night because they both demand to be out. We have very large cages for them, um, but neither one of them want to be in them. So we let them run. Yeah. That's cool. Well, we have a bearded drawing, a bearded dragon drawing <laughs> in the works. Um, I think all your drawings are somewhat bearded. Yeah. No. Right? The, the dragons are awesome. Right. Yeah, though that the girl smoking uh -huh. the pipe, like that's a draw. I want to do that as a drawing, though. Yeah, that would be cool. Stencil. I thought chinchillas had to live in pairs, but I guess. Um, I adopted her. She was left. We I lived in Brooklyn for most of the last twenty years in New York, and um she was left in a cage forever and so we adopted her and she's probably oh gosh she's probably 10 now so i think at this point introducing another chinchilla hold on she's eating my drawings hold on one second <laughs> oh. um at this point um she's a little she she's a little um nippy with other animals so but she seems to like the bearded dragon, Chauncey, so that's nice. <laughs> that's what happens when you live in a place where there's winter all the time and like half the year. <laughs> you get pets? You get pets, yeah. We had dogs for the longest time. And then our senior dog uh, finally passed. Oh, and we, it was a long time coming. <laughs> you know, I love was, that dog so much. It was one it was of those things <laughs> where he was geriatric. It was really sad to see and hard to watch him try to get up to go out. Or It was difficult all around. And I just, I don't know. I can't really put him down. I just, I guess I don't really have that in me, which is probably worse, but no, so we waited. No, yeah, he enjoyed it, I guess, most of it. I gave him CBD, so maybe that helped. Yeah. But um, we waited a year, and then I couldn't take it anymore. I'm like, we need a pet, but we can't have a dog right now. Let's get a cat, and we were going to get a bingo, but then I read some things like, hey, listen, these are just like dogs but kind of worse because there was like this one that would jump up and turn on the light switch and then turn it off and on and on. <laughs> all day long and one jumping up on cupboards and knocking down dishes. And I was like, oh, that might be a little much. <laughs> so we said- Oh, up. ours jumps in the bed and screams in our face at like- Oh my God. <laughs> every morning. It's just this loudest scream. <laughs> Yeah, it's so kind we, of adorable. We but got this rescue crazy. cat that was kind. Of, it's a Highlander, so they're like a mellowed out version of a of a Bengal. They're not quite catty. I mean, they're a little bit both, but she's she's a little bit um, wants our attention more than most cats, which I wasn't expecting, and she won't like get on your lap she will get near you she's oh. like you she, it's weird she wants to play fetch but she won't like <laughs> her. It's weird how long have you had her uh just barely a year oh. and they said that she was about three so she must be about four now but she's cute she doesn't have a tail and she's got those weird curly ears and stuff oh. Yeah, I can't, I guess I can't be without pets. We had this one, um, you know, doing the art fairs is really difficult because you know, they're always going. 
And that's why I thought of cat because they, they don't really give a shit. Yeah. They're not. Although this one does. This one definitely <laughs> does. Yeah. Um, but this one artist girl, she was like, guess what I got our daughters for Christmas this year? She reaches in her bra. <laughs> What are you doing? He pulls out these sugar gliders. No way. And it was hot. We were in Mississippi. And I'm like, what are you doing? Oh sugar gliders in your bra. She's like, they love it in there. I just keep them in there. I'm like, that's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom a little bit, but it's not much. And I'm like, oh, I can't handle it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's the girl from Alaska. Oh, yeah. And they just stay in there? Well, I guess they have a cage that they go into at night, but I guess all day they just ride around in her bra. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to ride. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably has a little space in her bra because she had a pretty Pretty big boobies. I can't remember. They're the ones that just started doing festivals. They had, yeah. Sold everything and yeah. drove down to do art festivals. Yeah. Well, you know how that's going. They're not doing anything right now. Well, I know. I remember. Well, we saw. Um, I think it's on last year. Okay, my beer's almost gone. I'm gonna wrap these up with some bubbles. Nope, a whole bunch of orbs. Oh, cool, cool. Pupils. <laughs> I should have asked Darren what he thinks about them. Minneapolis is about to, we're about to disband our police department completely. Wow, yeah, you should have asked him. I wonder, what's their plan? They, um, well, there was some message that came out to all of us that said, uh, if you call 911, we're still gonna send people out to you. And I was like, what? Um, so that's a little scary. Right. Uh, we'll see. I imagine that they're going to have a police department available, but yeah. Wow. Well, you know, I think Compton did defunded, and they did a version of that. They did. Yeah. I think so, like years ago. In New Jersey, I thought. Yeah. yeah. yeah I guess it supposedly was. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. We well, certainly could change the name of it. Yeah. It's a whole the disbanding part or the disbanding part. It's a whole different mindset, I guess. But they did, and it's probably a donation piece that hopefully got auctioned off. But somebody posted a picture of LAPD's Lamborghini. Yeah, that'll be interesting. You'll have to let us know how that goes. We'll pay yeah. attention. When can we just decriminalize all the drugs? No. Yeah. No. We have problems. And when did you say that starts? Um, they're still discussing on voting and 
But it, it doesn't. It doesn't seem. I don't. I don't think right now. If I needed to call the police department, I would. And not because I, like, I'm a hater of police because I'm not. Um, but I'm just like, uh, what? They they have to be on edge too, you know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting the whole dynamic of it all. I, I something good comes out of it. Yeah. I have a little brother who's both black and a police officer, and I reached out to him like, what do you, what's, what's happening in your head right now? <laughs> but he really didn't give me much. So I was like, oh, well, that got me nowhere. Okay. Well, love you. Bye. Where is he, an uh, officer? In Utah. Oh. So. And does he feel safe? Yes, I think so. That's great. He's Utah's also an impenetrable bubble. It's a bubble in its own. It's its own world. I mean, there are places like that all across the United States, but Utah is this real specific. It's they they don't they don't have the same struggles and problems that a lot of the country has that's great so they have their own issues you know but there are certain there's relationships between communities and police officers that are strong i mean there you know there are still little things that are, that are problematic here and there but for the most part of the i mean i don't know who knows but it does feel that way don't you think well I, yeah but then it said i saw um your cousin's post that said Utah was like the number one for black murders. Well, like per capita yeah, yeah. or whatever. And I was like, oh man, I didn't. It was like, let that sink in. But then I'm like, well, where did you get this? But it was, you know, your cousin who sure. went to Stanford. So sure. I'm thinking, well, I don't, like, yeah. That's just maybe my feeling. And that's coming from someone I've actually been. Beat up. I've been <laughs> yeah, you've been roughed up. I have been. Yeah, when I was when I was a teenager, I uh, I took some unnecessary Billy Clubbin. Wow. But uh, also, three of my closest friends are um, are police officers. But they're, they're yeah, it's such a weird thing. I don't know. I don't want to. But then, yeah, I mean, Ty has been shot at me. unnecessarily too. It's yeah, just, it's just it's so... a, that's why I'm like <laughs> asking my little brother. I'm like, where are, where is your head right now? Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't let me know where it was. So, well, everybody's heads are in different places. I know. Yeah, yeah. I wish we, I, I, everyone has an opinion, and everyone's opinion is valid to their own experiences. And I wish we could just get to. That's my opinion. I just wish everyone could just be comfortable with like, that's how you feel. That's what you're feeling. That's justified. Doesn't necessarily mean it's right or wrong, but that's what you feel. Yeah. But who knows? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're here to just, to just to get away from it all. <laughs> <laughs> you just want everyone to be happy. That's my. That's what I always say. I just want everyone to enjoy themselves. Just right. Yes, that's the point of injustice, or injustice anywhere. Ah, shit. Okay, guys. Let's uh, let's have a look at everyone's. Uh, wait, let me wait. Don't start yet. Hold on. I have these restrooms. Oh well. <laughs> no, I want to see them. Mama,
Okay, he's back if you want to share your piece. Yeah, I want to see him. I can look at right here, right? Uh-huh. Come here. There you go. Awesome, John. I like the star on that. Oh, that's great. That's the speaker in, the, in his arm, I can't, like... Um, it's toilet paper. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Back the, it, looks, it looks yellow from our screen. Yeah, that, that one, he's so chill feeling with those glasses up on his head, huh? Oh, nice, there's a lollipop. Huh. I couldn't see the, the stem, but you guys remember those things called hoppy taws? Yeah. <laughs> Looked like a hoppy top. <laughs> what are they, is that what they were called? Hoppy tops? Yeah. What's that game called? Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's it. That's it. all I wanted to share anyway. Mm -hmm. I think, Craig. Right? I think I got you. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank Trent, you. Did I get yours? Oh, or kind of. Yeah. I lost that. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I like coming down to this last part of the group, too. You guys are a fun group. <laughs> Good times. Appreciate it again. So, yeah, I don't remember when the next one is. I think in two weeks, but hopefully we'll see you then. I figured the Thursday thing was going to work. It works for me for right now, but I know some people, people are getting out on the weekends now, and I hope that, uh, well, I don't know. Thanks, everybody. Uh, share your drawings with me. I love seeing them or share them on. Well, you guys all know what you're doing. I appreciate you all, and I hope you guys had fun again. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Thanks. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good night. Stay good safe. Night. Good night.